We are uh, back here at the Alachua County Athletics and Events Center. And as you see, we've got the Buholtz Bobcats now with us. And their team segment is brought to you by Dave & Buster's at Celebration Point. Check out Dave & Buster's new menu offerings while on Mondays and Thursdays. Endless wings plus a $10 power card starts at just $22.99. Hurry on over to Dave & Buster's at Celebration Point where you can eat, play games, watch sports, and even host your party. You guys can go right over there. It's across the street after you're done here. But, Sounds good. Um, I know, right? And, uh, well, this is Coach Mark Whittemore, and we know him well. I feel like I'm having deja vu here. But, uh, Coach, uh, one year, a year away, and you were ready to come back after that year, you said. Well, uh, 14 months to be exact. Okay. Uh, well, right. <laughs> Marty, the beautiful thing is Coach Chuck Bell, uh, not only did he uh, lead the program uh, in, an, in an unbelievable fashion, back to the Final Four, 13-1, and one, but uh, the continuity between he and I has been tremendous. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're, we're like brothers. So uh, I was ready to get back in, uh, you know, and, and he, uh, he was ready to kind of take care of his family, yeah. you know, and, and uh, so it worked perfectly. Here we are, Mario. Yeah, here we are, and, and again, it's I'm sure it's pretty seamless. I mean, you you were you never you were still at the school all that time teaching, and you uh, stayed there as well. And uh, you know, uh, now looking at as you said the 13 or one. I mean, this this has been this four last four years has been pretty amazing for this program. And I know you've got to be happy with the record and everything. And now the only thing left is to win the whole thing, right? Basically. Well, I tell you what, that's definitely our goal. Yeah. Uh, but. We gotta, you know, we gotta kind of slow ourselves down a little bit, right? Because this is the 2024 edition, right? And we have to approach the season not uh, necessarily thinking that it's uh, state championship or bust. Uh, that is our goal, but we want right. to continue to play gritty, tough, hard-nosed football game to game, and not lose our way because. We've been there three times straight and haven't, right? You know, haven't followed through. We we want to keep our heads on. Uh, and it's hard. It's hard to win this. I know. I mean, you had to go on the road two of those years, and then, uh, you know, last year was a one-point game. So I mean, that's that's all it's been. But yeah, and uh, what's who? Who do you? First of all, how many guys did you lose from last year, and how many seniors do you have this year? Coming well, we, we lost some key players. Yeah. I mean, obviously losing Miles Graham. These guys sitting with me here know how valuable he was to the team. Quentin Cutler, mm -hmm. from an offensive standpoint, and several others. You know, we lost, uh, you know, an offensive line that was the heaviest, you know, most talented offensive line we had had uh, in that stretch mm -hmm. uh, of, of, you know, Final Four and, and deep playoff runs. However, uh, I think these five here and others on our team right now feel like they are ready to uh, for the challenge of stepping up and trying to replicate what they've many of them have been a part of. RJ sitting here and Nick right. were on three of those three. Yeah. So they've seen the losses, they've seen the wins. We got a lot of veteranship coming back, Marty. And your quarterback, which runs Trace, is back. And, oh boy, how, the numbers as a sophomore. I mean, 35 touchdowns, 3,000 yards. Not bad for first year as a starter, I would say. Well, uh, he knows the history of Buholtz at the quarterback position. Yeah. Obviously, his dad was a great quarterback yep. for Buholtz, the Gators, and the Falcons. Um, so he, uh, he knows what it takes to be excellent. And I know he's going to work his tail off to not only – uh, you know, follow through with another season as well as he can to duplicate that. But I think he wants to achieve it even more. Yeah, I mean, Buholtz, it is a family affair, really, when you talk about it. You guys really, you seem to find, and you, you, you find quarterbacks. I mean, obviously, you know, as you said, Trace, is, Doug was, was quite a quarterback at Buholtz and at UF, too, and then the NFL. Um, so the schedule, um, brutal, is, <laughs> tough as usual. I say brutal, but tough as usual, I'm sure. Yeah, the ske schedule will be arguably, I think Nick and I agreed, it will arguably be the toughest schedule that we have uh, okay. faced maybe in this run. 
Uh, yeah. It's 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 tough to say, but throwing Vero Beach Manatee yeah. uh, in there, we got to go up to Georgia and face a Richmond Hill bunch. It's going to be unbelievably coached. We got Vanguard out the gate. <laughs> uh, you know. These guys, I mean, RJ's a permanent captain for us. Mm -hmm. He knows uh, he knows what it's like to go down to Booster Stadium, mm -hmm. and uh, listen, this is this is the best that North Florida football has to offer. Right, and uh, it's, it, we're gonna play like our hair's on fire, right, boys? Yes, sir. I mean, I heard Manatee's coming to Citizens. Is Vero away or is that home? Vero's away. Away. That's uh, true. You know, Kane McDonald are our senior center who's committed to Coastal. Uh, I think he's really excited about going down there. They've got a linebacker committed to Alabama. And uh, so he's going to be he's going to be looking forward to Got a challenge there, yeah. Face to face right. with that cat. Is this the first time y'all played a Georgia team or gone up to Georgia and played? In a long time. Uh, okay. Uh, and so we're excited about the challenge, heading up to Savannah, Georgia, Savannah. Richmond Hill. Right. Um, it'll be fun, a, a little Florida high school football versus Georgia yeah. high school football. Um, those are always neat, neat opportunities. Yep, that's true. All right, can you go ahead and introduce the, the guys here? Okay, so I've got R.J. Livingston, okay. uh, permanent captain, nickel, uh, also play receivers, three-year starter. Yeah. Got Trace Johnson, quarterback. Um, you know he, you know his stats last year were a little eye popping. Hmm. It's going to be uh, we as a coaching staff want to try to stay out of his way, if you know what I mean. Uh, Nick Clayton, uh, who's a dynamic edge rusher for us, right. our most highly recruited athlete. Uh, he's committed to Wisconsin. We've got Justin Williams, who is our thousand yard receiver from last year. Now keep in mind we got we got three Division One offer receivers. He leads that bunch uh, coming back from last year. He led the team in catches and, and yardage last year. And then anchoring our line over there to my far left is Kane McDonald, who is uh, committed to Coastal and arguably one of the best centers we've had at Buell's High School in the last 30 years. 6'2", 305. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Large human. Yeah, right, exactly. All right, well, let's go ahead and talk to the guys. We'll start here with RJ, and we'll head that way. Um, First of all, RJ, you know, coming in your senior year, and um, what have you been working on in the off season, kind of just get better? Um, my main focus this off season was trying to get faster, try to get fast as possible. Uh, my biggest problem last season was coverage. Um, I gave up a lot of long passes that I'm trying to avoid this year. So just working the drills and getting faster every day. You said, Coach, you're permanent captain, is that right? Yeah, um, we have this gold dawn thing. It's like our, it's like our early morning conditioning. It's uh, it's rough, and um, I was named first captain of the team. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I was, I was, he said that I didn't haven't heard of that before. But, um, well, what about the senior class? I mean, uh, pretty good, like close group. It looks like you're a pretty close group. Um, yeah, I think as far as like how close we are, this is probably like our closest group us this year and us last year so we're just getting close and we know we don't we had a lot of pieces go away so we know being close is, is as important as ever i'm sure you guys are motivated i mean even though you're 13 and one you didn't as long as you don't win the last game you're always motivated right and how, how has that been the offseason kind of yeah um it's rough i've been here since a freshman uh went down to st thomas yeah lost 45 to 7 right so it's um it's rough but you just know you got to get back and you can't get complacent once you get there you gotta you gotta work right okay thanks rj appreciate yeah. it we move along to trace trace johnson jr um trace look first to look a little bit back at last year i mean your first year as a starter and you know uh what a year a huge year um what do you what can you do to get better at this point as you come in your junior year yeah, so really just getting with my quarterback coach and just working on mechanics, uh, eliminating those throws that, you know, missed on. So going back and watching film, but really just getting with my receivers. And, th I mean, we're throwing every day, just uh, building that chemistry. Yeah, I mean, that is true. You've got quite a group of receivers to throw to. I'm sure that makes you feel <laughs> pretty pretty secure as a quarterback, right? No doubt. Yeah, I mean, we got four guys, including our tight end, that have Division One offers, so right. being able to have that around you, just a bunch of athletes that are going to get it done. So, Is there a game uh, 
you're Lewis looking forward to maybe this year? Or? Yeah, that was I think a pretty good schedule. Obviously, going to Bartram, super excited about that. Playing at their oh, place, right, yeah. um, and <laughs> definitely Vero. So excited about those two games. Is there a down, is there a game that's maybe in the middle that's easy? <laughs> not easy, but I mean, uh, you know, it's maybe the city, not the city teams, that even, but because the city games are always tough. Right. I mean, city games obviously that crowd aspect. I mean, you're gonna have yeah. both crowds there, um, so that's probably the biggest thing. But no, definitely going on the road, it's gonna be tough. But yeah, city games. I mean, they're always tough with that crowd. So. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and move along to Nick. Are you a captain as well, Nick? Yes, sir. Okay. And senior defensive end. I mean, you've had quite a career at Buholtz. What What are you looking forward to this senior year to, um, to work on and maybe to get better? Uh, this year, um, I've been working on getting better off my aspect of working off my speed and my twitchiness is all year that uh, what I had last year. Um, I'm just getting better in that aspect and being a leader also, uh, being that captain. I have that role of being that leader, so that, those are the big things I'm working on right now. Yeah, I know. Um, we, obviously, Coach Whittemore has been here before. You played for him before, but Coach Bell is going back to coach a defense, and you know your defense has been really good. So he, he's quite a defensive coach as well, isn't he? How do you like playing for these guys? Uh, I mean, they've both been in my life uh, for a really long time. Coach Wood's been in my life for about 12 years through all my brothers. Uh, they've all came through. I'm the last uh, of the bunch. But uh, Coach Bell is with my second oldest, and he played kind of like the same position I played. So uh, it's just a love that nobody really else has. Uh, we just have a really good bond. Yeah, it's a pretty good time at Buholtz. I mean, baseball nearly won a state title. Basketball is better. I mean, it seems like all the programs there are really, are really successful right now. Yes, sir. Fun to see that. Fun to see these others. Yes, sir, for sure. Seeing the entire uh, school just succeed is also a great thing. Not just football, but right. in other aspects of other sports. Seeing that we're also dominant. Is there a game you're most looking forward to? Maybe. Um, I would say the first game of the season. Like, Vanguard. That's always just really excited for just to get back out there and play with my team. Funny thing I learned about Vanguard today, they apparently, their seniors as a team, they all go fishing together. Yeah. And did you know that high schools have fishing teams now? No, I did not know that. Some of them not around here, but the other schools in Florida do. I didn't know this even until yesterday. So you, huh. you learned something new. Okay. Uh, you fishermen to like fishing? Uh, I do with my brothers when I have time Oh, you do? To, yeah. Okay, but, cool. I know it's not always a big thing for kids in high school to go fishing, but hey, yeah, that's cool. All right, oh, we appreciate it, Nick. Thank you. Well, you got Justin down here. Justin Williams, Jr. Uh, it says athlete, but I mean, you mostly line up at receiver in there, right? Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah. yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, this year, I'm gonna be playing multiple positions. Uh, I feel like I'm very like versatile, and the right. coaches trust me to play in different positions, and that I'm gonna give my all. Yeah. So, amongst your guys, are you? Would you be the fastest guy, pretty much? I want to say I'm the fastest. Yeah. I mean, but I'm definitely up there. Like I can, <laughs> I can keep up. He's not slow. Yeah, no, I, I've seen him. He's, he's not at all. Um, how do you like working here with Trace, I mean, uh, as a receiver? He uh, we also get you the ball a lot, right? Yeah, we have a great connection. We've been playing with each other for a long time. And, you know, we have something that other duos don't really have. And, yeah. yeah. What's it going to take for this team to, you know, I know you don't want to get, you have to get a whole lot better, but you want to get better. What's it going to take to, to get this team to state and, and win this one? Uh, just repetition, just learning the plays and running them to the best of our abilities and playing for each other. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Justin. And finally, we go to Kane. Sorry you're way down there. I don't know if you can hear me. but Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, Kane, a senior, you're committed to Coastal. Uh, what was it about Coastal Carolina that you... Uh, to me, it was the brotherhood and the family that they really created around all of the players and coaches. Uh, I've been up there five times in the last year, and every time it just kept getting better and better. I mean, the offensive line coach, Coach, uh, coach Wareheim, is just, he's kind of like a second dad to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's a, very, he's a very smart man, a great man, and I, I mean, it's just a great place to be. Yeah, they're an up-and-coming program. I mean, no, we haven't been around them for a long time, but, yeah, they definitely are, are up-and-coming there. Um, it's your senior year. I mean, is it going to be strange not being a Buell's anymore after this year? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to be weird, you know, leaving the state, 
uh, leaving these guys that, I mean, I met Justin. Justin was probably the first person I met when I moved down to Florida. I'm not from here, and I mean, okay, it's, it's just been a great ride. So, Where, where were you, where did you move I'm, from? I'm originally from Tennessee. Tennessee, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, any game you're, you're looking forward most to this year? Uh, wherever and whenever it's played, I'm looking forward to the state championship. Maybe That's you get a chance to play Lakeland again? Yeah. If you get that if far? It to, if it comes to it. Yeah, that's right. All right, guys. We appreciate it.